Today we are going to talk about why your faith is not working. Because Bible makes us to understand in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, Bible said that without faith it is impossible to please God. That whosoever that comes to God must know and believe that God is and is a rewarder of they that diligently serve him or follow him or seek him anyone is the, is the rewarder of they that diligently seek him so and i understand that the, the the in the kingdom of god salvation is the highest thing in the kingdom but after salvation the second thing that everybody should look for is faith after salvation in the kingdom of God, the second thing everybody should look is faith. Because it is faith that will make that individual to receive anything he desires or he needs from the Lord. But today we are going to talk about why your faith is not working. Please help me to touch the subscribe button or click the follow button. Depend on the platform you are watching me now. And also, help me to share this message, forward this message to many people. Comment and drop your opinion so that Facebook and YouTube will be able to send it to as many as they can. God bless you. I love you. So today we are talking about why your faith is not working. I discovered that feeling, faith has nothing with feeling. It has nothing with feeling. That is to say, some people are looking to, some people are waiting to see the sign. They say, oh, if I feel like this, oh, if I feel like this, I know that God has done it. I know that God has answered. If this thing happened, I know that this thing will take place. So they, they, they decided to build their life on feelings. But I want to tell you today that devil is the master of feeling. He will use feeling to deceive you. He will use feeling to deceive you. Sometimes people think that if God is present in a place people begin to shake and begin to fall down and rise up and uh, sometimes it's true but sometimes it's not true because god is always available god can be in a place without anybody falling down if it is the will of holy spirit to make people to fall down he will make them to fall down if it is not his will for them to fall down that day they will not fall down and the miracle will still take place so number one thing you will overcome is feeling feeling Go beyond feeling. Any faith that will work, the authentic faith in God must be faith based on the written word of God. That is to say, you believe that God is faithful and you know the word of God. Then when you come to God, according to his word, he heareth you. Even with feeling and without feeling, you know that he heareth you. So if you can be able to be delivered from the realm of feeling, from the realm of feeling for instance someone is sick and after that person praying he said oh that sickness is still i'm still having the symptom i'm still having the sign of the sickness and because of the sign he loses his faith in god and the devil now robbed him the miracle he received so feeling is number one thing that make your faith not working feeling then number two why your faith is not working is because because you never understand the, the the mystery behind faith mystery behind faith look at jesus there was a story about jesus going somewhere with his disciples and that day they were passing they saw a fig tree jesus hoping there was fruit on that fig tree when jesus got there he discovered there was no fruit at all and jesus said let no man eat from you hereafter and all his disciples had him. He left. And the next day, Jesus decided to carry his disciples to that road again. Because Jesus was teaching them, he was training them how the kingdom operates, how the kingdom works. So, I believe that Jesus wanted to show them that that word he said yesterday, that God honors it. So, when they went there, Jesus was passing. Peter looking at that fig tree. Peter said, ah, master, master, that fig tree has withered. I believe that 
Peter was not the only one that was doubting whether what Jesus said yesterday will come to pass. But Jesus wanted to show them how the kingdom operates. So Jesus turned to them and said to them, Have faith in God. He said, If your faith is as small as, he said, you must have said, he said, you can command the mountain and the mountain will remove and go beyond the river or yonder place. That is to tell them this is how the kingdom works. Your own, if you talk to something, you begin to imagine, oh, this thing never come to pass. Oh, this thing never come to pass. Because you are still in the realm of feeling. You are still in the realm of physical sight. The Bible said that we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. That is to say, if I am sick right now, and I, 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 according to God's word, he said, by his tribe, I am healed. And I come to God, I say, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I command healing over my body. I am healed according to the word of God. Bible said that I will no longer be looking at the physical sign of that sickness. I will no longer be looking at the feelings of that sickness. Because that time, it will be, it will, I will be having the same reaction as I used to do before. That, by that time, I will be having the same feeling, maybe headache, as I used to do before. But the Bible said that we walk by faith. Automatically, I switch to what God said. Not feeling, not physical sight. So, I want you to practice the word of God right now as I am teaching it to you and see that it works. It works 100%. It works. What am I saying and what am I talking about? That faith works without feeling. There is nothing that concerns faith and feeling. In order for your faith to work, amen, in order for your faith to work, to be active, it must be faith in God and not in any other thing. That is faith in the word of God, faith in God Almighty himself. I, uh, sometimes, devil deceives us to think that when we have faith uh, uh, on one particular thing, that we, God will give it to us. That when we have faith, in, in, for instance, you are looking for financial blessing, then you command financial blessing, you pray in that area and have faith in that financial blessing that you will receive it. But I understand that there is a little misunderstanding in that. Because Jesus told us how faith works. Jesus said, have faith in God, in God, not in what you want to get, not what you want to receive from God, not what you are asking God for, for not what you are asking God for. You will have faith in God, in the giver of the gift. So anytime your faith switch to God himself, not in what you are asking for, you have faith in God, you will receive. So when you have faith in God, you will receive it. The Lord makes us to understand that our faith will be based on God, not in what you want to get, not in material things, not in that thing you are asking, not in the healing. Don't have faith in the healing. Have faith in God who will give you healing. So anyone that wants to operate in faith, why your faith is not working, why it seems as if you don't, your God is very far from you, is because of this word called faith. You don't know how to operate in faith. Praise God. 